That's a proper way to make a good team, Mom. <laughs> Star Wars. Hey guys, this is my review for Bodyguard, a series that got released on Netflix just recently. It actually isn't a Netflix show, it was made for BBC first. It was aired in BBC in the UK and then it came onto American audiences for Netflix. And this is a very good show. After watching the absolute abysmal second season of The Punisher, this was a very, very good refresher in terms of good television making. The show follows a former veteran, David Budd, who becomes employed as a special security service or chief security for the Home Secretary. What follows is this wide conspiracy involving the Home Secretary, uh, the Secret Security Services, as well as other members of government, and it just explodes into this giant conspiracy of crime, terrorism, and fear. And I will say that this is actually a very good show, and it's very reminiscent of MI5, or Spooks. My dad introduced me to that show a while back, and I loved the first couple of seasons. I admittedly watched it up to the eighth season, and then I just I, I stopped. I couldn't watch it anymore. It just got really bad. But I really did enjoy that show, and it's cool because one of the main actresses in the first few uh, the first few seasons is the Home Secretary in this show. And I really got into this show. Admittedly, the show starts off with an absolute gripping scene at the very beginning on the train. It's a 22 minute segment and it is intense, not just in how well it's acted and how well it's written, but how well it's shot and the music too. There's this constant music throughout the whole show. And it's a very good soundtrack. It's an underlying soundtrack, but it helps build the tension into all these scenes. Each episode has effectively, I would say, a hold your breath scene. And admittedly, some are not as good as others. I would say there really isn't one in the fifth episode. There kind of is one, but each episode, aside from that, has a moment. And it is so good to watch, especially because of how well it's shot. The cinematographer on the show is John Lee, and I swear I thought I was watching Wally Pfister's work. Especially certain shots in this film remind me so much of the cinematography from The Dark Knight and The Dark Knight Rises and it was really cool to watch all of these scenes be shot so well. It is a well-written show, no doubt, but to add that extra layer of dedication in terms of delivering it in a very sleek and a very gripping visual manner really helps build the tension and builds the drama with this show. And the acting is actually pretty darn good. Uh, there's a lot of deception and mystery with each character. Uh, Richard Madden is great as the lead as David Budd. He actually does bring a lot of emotionality to this character. We've seen a lot of veterans suffering from PTSD stories done over and over again in multiple versions of media, but he still is able to add a little bit of a nuance element to it and then everyone else in this you can't trust anyone on this show it's very cool there's a lot of twists there's a lot of turns and i was thoroughly enthralled with this show from all of its elements the only thing i will say is that the fifth episode is a little lacking it's not exactly the most memorable episode it's building up to the sixth episode and the ending is cool like when everything is on the table and you figure out what everything is, it's a cool idea. It comes off a little cheesy, but I would still say it definitely took me for a loop. I'd also have to say that the previously on bodyguard segments for each episode is some of the best previously on segments I've ever seen in a television show. Because it's well edited, the music builds up this. Like you're getting pumped just from watching the previously on. You're not watching it just so you can be reminded of what you saw. You're getting pumped up for it because of how well this part is edited for episode two to six. And apparently this was immensely popular in the BBC. Apparently had absolutely huge numbers for viewers. And I totally understand why. It's a great show. It was phenomenal to watch. It was very enthralling. Like I said, just the ending is not exactly as clean as it could be. It's a little cheesy, but that's really the only detractor. And 
leading up to the last episode is kind of a little bit dry here and there, but it's always gripping you, it's always entertaining you, and it is, again, very well shot, extremely well shot. I'm gonna give Bodyguard a six out of seven. I would watch this again in a heartbeat. I enjoyed it immensely, and I think it is definitely one of the better shows to watch on Netflix right now. If you guys have not seen it, I would definitely suggest it. I don't know where they're gonna go with the second season because this kind of just feels like a one-off just with what happens, but I guess we'll find out. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. You're probably wondering who I am. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. You know, Nitz, you can't get more money unless you offer questionable favors. Yeah, guy. Unless, of course, those favors involve the ladies, guy. By support, I mean getting the word out, guys. Oh, well, couldn't you find a better means than this guy? All he seems to talk about is supernatural. Or hold a coffee mug real awkward. Why didn't you ask a Kardashian or something? Yeah, guy. Get in with the ladies, guy. Hey, he's trying to help out. Like you've been trying with Kimmy Burton? I've seen Jabba the Hutt finish a marathon faster. Yeah, guy. You're a massive slug thing, guy. <sighs> to see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.